What's up, guys? And uh, welcome back to another video. Um, going up, y'all read the title. This this lady's name is Heather. I assume it's a woman. I don't know, but she got me with the uh, user pick right here. She was running some kind of exotic little blitz that she saw, she must have saw on YouTube or something. I don't know, but she was just spamming it every single play, and uh, it took me a minute to catch on, but I eventually caught on. As you'll see in my response to the next drive, I don't think I miss a pass on that drive. But she goes up three to nothing, and um, I just noticed that she was showing blitz a lot, and that means that the outside receiver does not get pressed, and he gets the free release. So if you can get that pass off, and you got a fast receiver, or a decently fast receiver, you can get that pass off. But here, we uh, throw a dot to Jarius right up the seam, probably, shouldn't have been caught that's kind of a contested catch but I run when I do pass I run different variations of bunch verts a lot and it's a two re it's a two or three replay and I kind of got lucky because he she missed a tackle he or she whoever she is but you either throw to the outside receiver that you motion out or you throw to the seam because it's like a if if one's not open the other is and in the event that both of them are open, you throw to the, the drag or the slant that you got going underneath, and then boom, 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 you're ready to roll. But we're up 7-3. to three. I started using her the safety because the scheme she's running, if I sit there and try to use her with Keekly, she's just going to hit me over the top the whole time on that post. So since Mike Adams doesn't have really, he, he doesn't have the highest play wreck in zone, he should, he's a veteran safety, but... Um, you see, he's just getting caught on. He got caught on like twice. So I have to use her that post, no matter what. So that's, that's, that's what I have to do since Adam won't defend it by himself. And then I, I started manning up Keekly on the tight end. And that wasn't working. I started shading my coverages differently. But see, Keekly, I shaded outside right there, or underneath outside, whatever you call it. I should have had that pick. But anyway, um... I could tell oh, he just hit the spin move anyway and gets the first down. He, she, I keep saying he, but um, he, I guess passed right here and he got the red C just parted for him. I got blocked, and that's what happens when you guess pass and he runs, so, and vice versa. So uh, the blitz he was running, I, I didn't know if his run would work, but I popped a big one. And if, if I would have had McCaffrey in on in that formation, I probably would have broke that for a touchdown. But you got to rotate your backs, you know. I got two good backs, and uh, yeah. So right here, first and ten, Olsen was open because the outside was covered. That was out of the regular bunch set, and like right here, I high passed it. I probably could have bullet passed that. It's like a split second read, but like. I'm high passing it because I don't want it to be intercepted. Like I don't want him to user like user alert pick it or nothing. And like I had to high ball it right there because maybe Jarius Wright is just not tall enough to go up and grab that ball. But for whatever reason, we missed three straight passes, so we have to settle for our field goal, and we tie the game ten to ten. Um, this is a, this is a really 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 good game. It, it came down to who played the best defense. So luckily Dante Jackson knocked that ball out, kind of saved me there. And right here, I don't, I don't understand because I blitz everybody, right? But he still has time to make a read and throw the ball. Like, that's something that I think should be fixed in the game. Like if I'm, no matter if I'm four three or three four, if I send seven or eight people at him, I should get sacked like that. You know what I'm saying? But he caught me in a man defense, and I gave up some critical points before halftime, knowing that she got the ball back. So, but luckily, we get some good animations on the defensive side, knock her back a couple yards, and then he, she likes to do that little spin move with the tight end like it's going to work. I mean, it, it's, it was working. She's got a good scheme, I'm not going to lie. It's a common scheme that I see, a, that you see a lot online. It's a combination of halfback wheel and pitch and dive. It's a really good t uh, three play scheme. But if you have the right defense and then you could confuse them, your opponent a little bit, you, it's, it's pretty easy to stop. It's just tedious and it's pain. It's like just a pain to deal with. C.J. Anderson got a lot of carries in this game, mainly because of the formations I was using. And um, 
I do think we need to feature CJ Anderson more on the real life Panthers because he's a good player and we haven't seen or heard from him in a couple weeks. I don't think he's even touched the field. I mean, McCaffrey's obviously the better back, but like, I mean, just find a way to, if we could just find a way to use both of our backs properly without having it be a dead giveaway what we're doing every time, that might be why McCaffrey's getting more snaps other than that he's the starting running back. But just because of the fact that if we had C.J. Anderson in, we would probably be 70% or 80% more likely to run the ball with him and, like, pound the rock. It's just my thought. But she, she, this, lady, this, this lady was sticking to the same formation all game. And I got a little Superman animation with Shaq Thompson and got the user pick. Um, I think I just hit play ball right, right at the right time. He's only 6'1", so it's... You know, it, got, it was kind of glitchy, but worked out. Here we had DJ open on the outside, and that's a perfect example of what happens if you throw that too early. So that was that was why. And the reason I show this punt is because it's a really good punt. Um, I hit backspin so that it does that, and it doesn't bounce into the end zone. If you ever want to know how to do that, you just hit L1 before you punt the ball, and it'll do a backspin and it'll bounce backwards. But here, I gave up a big play. That was totally my responsibility to be covering that, and I was I was too hesitant. I was thinking about jumping one of the underneath routes. Routes, voice crack, voice crack and Luke Keekly cracks Tariq Cohen. Um, she's hurrying up her offense. I'm doing a lot of talking, and I'm sorry. I'm just trying to keep this video interesting. But Tariq Cohen, Luke Keekley ain't having that run game like. But by the way, if you notice, Luke Keekley has white, has yellow gloves and yellow cleats. And every person that's a 99 overall on regular teams has those gold gloves and cleats. I just figured that out. And I, I think that's really dope. Like, I, I do. So that means Von Miller, uh, Aaron Rodgers, they all have the 99 cleats. But here, Luke Keekley showing why he's the best linebacker in football. Um, okay, sorry, I was just looking at a text. But, anyway, we get the ball back, and on third down, we make the correct read to Greg Olson right at the seam, and we seal the win. And I gotta say, for me playing a woman, I'm not being sexist or anything, but for me play because women do not play Madden, at least to be to be as good as this, as good as this lady was. And I messaged her, after the game, I was like, or actually I messaged her during the game, I was like, you know, for a woman, you know your stuff. And I hope she didn't take that as a sexist comment. It's just that you never run into women online Madden when you play Madden. You don't run into women online. I just, I was just so surprised. And disclaimer, I, I am not even 100% sure this is a woman. I'm just going based off of her username. And whenever I messaged her, she didn't say she wasn't a woman. So, okay, so, title of the video, I almost got beat by a woman. <laughs> I almost got beat by a woman. It was a great game, and it seems like when you play online regs, I think it's because I'm using the Panthers, and they're not like a stacked team like the Falcons or the Eagles or the Saints, Vikings even, but I've been struggling with these Panthers, bro. I'm trying. That's why I haven't been uploading many gameplays, but if y'all enjoyed, look forward to more Spider-Man and Madden, and I'll see you.